So guys, today I have laid out a comprehensive comparison of the specs between the new ET5 and the Tesla Model 3 Highland, the brand new Tesla. First off, let's just start off directly with the length of the car. The ET5 has a length of 4,790 millimeters versus 4,720 millimeters on the Model 3 Highland with 1,960 compared to 2089 so straight off the bat we can tell that the et5 is a little bit longer uh, whilst the model 3 is a little bit wider and then from the height 1499 millimeters for the et5 1441 millimeters for the model 3 highland so the et5 is a little bit taller the wheelbase 1,685 millimeters for the ET5, 1,584 millimeters for the Model 3 Highland. Uh, the wheelbase is uh, a bit longer on the ET5, and also to note, the ET5 does have 50-50 weight distribution ratio. Uh, that is unknown whether or not the Model 3 Highland has that feature. So to 100 kilometers per hour is four seconds for the ET5, that is the official number. However, during testing, they've managed to get that down to 3.8. The Model 3 Highland, 6.1 on the rear wheel drive, and then 4.4 for the dual motor variant. The drag coefficient on the ET5 is 0.24 CD. On the Model 3 Highland, 0.219 CD. The Model 3 Highland, they've done some improvements to improve the aerodynamics of the car compared to before. Wheel inches and wheel options, uh, we have ET5, we have several different options from 19 inches all the way up to 20 inches. And look, we have five total uh, wheel choices. Whereas for the Model 3 Highland, you have two 18 inch and 19 inch. For the paint colors with the Neo ET5, you have 10 options. For the Model 3 Highland, you have five. Interior color options, ET5, you have nine. And then on the Model 3 Highland, you have two. Range CLTC kilometers, uh, it ranges 560 kilometers on the ET5 with the 75 kilowatt hour battery pack, 710 for the 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, and 1000 plus for the 150 kilowatt hour battery pack. I have a little star there because the battery pack is going to be out soon but not yet available. The range on the Model 3. 606 kilometers for the real wheel drive variant and then for the long range dual motor variant 713 kilometers CLTC and then for the max charging speed for NEO's ET5 you have 140 kilowatt of charging and then for the model 3 got 170 for the real wheel drive and then 250 for the dual motor variant battery swap of course NEO's can battery swap replenishing the battery in five minutes teslas of course do not and then battery upgradable neos et5 yes battery upgradable model 3 highland not battery upgradable soft touch doors neos et5 has soft touch doors model 3 does not camera sensors they both have camera sensors for autonomous driving capabilities and then lidar sensor neos et5 has that whereas the model 3 does not Radar sensors, Neo ZT5 has that. Model 3 Highland, they've got rid of radar sensors. Dash screen, we got a 10.2 inch HDR dash screen for the ET5, whereas the Model 3 Highland does not have a dash screen. And then center screen, we got a 12.8 inch AMOLED vertical screen on the ET5. And Model 3 Highland has a 15.4 inch horizontal screen. Rear screen, uh, Neos does not have a rear screen on the ET5. It, however, it does have support for a 200 inch screen on the AR glasses. Uh, Model 3 Highland has an 8 inch rear screen. In terms of speakers, ET5, we got 23 speakers. And then Model 3 Highland, we got 17 speakers. Wireless chargers and for phones, we got one in the ET5 and then two on the Model 3 Highland. For physical shifters, yes, ET5 does have a physical shifter. Model 3 does not. You have to use the center screen. And also, they do have an emergency one at the back of the rear view mirror. Turn signal wiper stocks, yes, ET5 does have that. The Model 3 Highland has gotten rid of those and replaced with 
buttons. Front seat massage, it is optional on the ET5, whereas for the Model 3 Highland, you do not have that option at all. Front seat ventilation, it is optional on the ET5. For the Model 3, it is standard in the front seat. Now in terms of warranty for the Model 3 Highland, we got four years for the car or 80,000 kilometers. For the battery, it's eight years or 160,000 kilometers for the battery warranty. On the ET5, however, we can see that the car warranty is six years or 150,000 kilometers, uh, almost double in terms of the range. Battery warranty, 10 years, no range limit. So that's pretty cool. And then starting prices in China. Uh, we gotta take a look at this for Neo's ET5. Right after the price cut, 75 kilowatt hour battery pack starts at 298,000 Chinese yuan, which is about 41,000 US dollars. For the 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, it starts out at 356,000 RMB, which is around 49,000 US dollars. For the Model 3 Highland, the starting price for the rear wheel drive is 259,900 RMB, which is around 35,700 US dollars. All wheel drive, 295,900 Chinese yuan, that's around 40,700 US dollars. Now the overall prices of the Model 3 Highland are 12% more expensive than the original Model 3 here in China. Now we can tell straight off the bat the all wheel drive version of the Model 3 Highland is a direct competitor of the ET5, which I have to mention, ET5s are all all wheel drive. There's no single motor variant of the ET5 available. So those two are directly competing in prices. Now in terms of my, my personal opinion, uh, if you just look at the warranty, the warranty is much better on the ET5 and also battery warranty. I'm not too sure if Model 3 Highland uses structural battery pack, but if it does, then that means if there's any sort of faulty battery cell or something, that's going to be very expensive to repair outside of warranty. Also, because NEO does have battery swap, it actually doesn't matter that there's a 10 year warranty or not for the battery. And on top of that, having the battery be upgradable means that even if you buy the 75 kilowatt hour battery pack, so you're essentially buying this, you can still rent a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack getting you 710 kilometers of range and as soon as the 150 comes out you can get 1000 plus kilometers of range and you can rent that battery for a day or a month or for as long as you like get access to that battery tech upgrade with a model 3 highland you're stuck with whatever range you got and battery degradation will only decrease this over time just a hardcore truth. In terms of my personal preference, of course I would pick the ET5. I think the design looks much better than the Model 3 Highland, even though the Model 3 Highland looks much better than the original Model 3. However, the ET5's design, in my opinion, is superior, especially the rear end, just looks so much better. And also, of course, with battery swap, chargeable, swappable, upgradable, whereas with the Model 3, you can only charge and we've all seen those massive lineups at superchargers so if you don't actually want range anxiety i pick the et5 because you can do charging and also swapping let me know what you would pick in the comments down below as always stay safe stay healthy peace out